Welcome back to the channel. Got this lawn boy in, it's the two stroke uh, with that side discharge out there. Um, customer states that it would run and about 10 minutes into its running, it would just cut out and die. Um, I confirmed it, I let it run for a little while. It uh, did exactly as I said. And the first thing I checked for um, is does it have spark? And so I put my little spark tester on there and sure enough, you know, I attach it to the spark plug wire, check for spark, and I was not getting any spark. Um, I let it cool down for a while, checked it again, it has spark again. So uh, that pretty much tells me what I think I know, uh, what I think it is. And uh, so before I even dug into it any further, I had ordered the part, and I'm going to show you how to replace it. So I already taken this off. There's three screws on top. Just pull those off. You have to remove the gas cap and this whole section will come off. Then there is, uh, that's these screws right here. Once you do that, the gas tank will pop up and come off the back. And then you can get to the flywheel cover. So I'm gonna remove these screws quick. Again, then I move the gas tank out of the way. You do have to, uh, remove the line for the primer bulb, okay? Then there's two bolts in the front here. I had already removed those, there's two washers on them. That will remove the front end of the flywheel cover. And then in the back here, actually, sorry, those are two nuts. And in the back here, there's two bolts. Just for some reason, they're all different sizes. And that will remove the rest of the flywheel cover. So now you got to the flywheel. Here is the problem. This coil went bad, okay? Um, so I already ordered a new one. I already taken this one off just to confirm I had the right part number. Take those two bolts off. You have to unhook the kill switch and then you have the coil. And there's the old coil. Part number 992911. And I ordered a new one already and I got it in. Okay, so now we're going to reverse the whole process. We're going to check for spark. We're going to let it run and uh, we'll make sure it's working again. Here is uh, a new primer bulb. I'm also going to replace that right away since the old one have a new crack in it. So let's pick you up right there. Wasn't too hard to get to. You know, the biggest, the hardest thing is diagnosing what's wrong. You know, if you're running it and all of a sudden it just shuts off and it just dies like suddenly and it will not restart, usually not a fuel problem. If it's a fuel problem, you'll get kind of a spitter or sputter or a dieseling revving up and down. Um, this does not do that. It's it's off like a light switch. So let's get that new coil on and I'll show you how that works. All right. It was on right like that. I'm just going to finger tight it for now. Finger tight. Because this has to be gapped. Uh, otherwise it'll just hit the flywheel and stick to it and then you don't have enough space and it just kind of grinds and you won't get any spark. So what I use, which is the oldest trick in the book, is a business card. All right. Stick that between the flywheel. And the coil. Okay. And then we're going to tighten that down. Now on this one, it's three eighths. Just gonna make it snug and then we're gonna tighten. Don't over tighten, you're going into aluminum. Good. Now I can turn this and get the part out, and now I should have a nice even gap there, and I do. Okay, that's on. It's got to reconnect till wire. And then the spark plug wire is going to hang there until I get the spark plug back in and everything back on. But we're going to reverse everything going back. I'm going to replace the fuel filter quick before I put everything back in because it's easy to access from here. The fuel lines are in good shape. And the old filter. and the new filter. Get your fuel 
uh, can relatively clean. You're not, and you keep the gas cap on. You shouldn't have too much problems with that uh, getting dirty in there. But it's good practice to do it every once in a while, anyway. All right, this is your primer line, and I'm going to replace the primer, which is here. on the cover. All right, so there's the old bulb. You can see, not in great shape. It comes with this plastic piece behind it. Well, you know, you got both pieces. And here's the new pieces. So that goes inside. Like that. Right, like that. As I'm putting this flywheel cover on, I want, I want this spark plug wire to come down off the side here, and right off the side. It doesn't get pinched. There we go. So that's gonna come right across the front there, right underneath the side here. So in the front, two washers on this side, Two washers on that side, half inch nut, half inch nut. On the back here, we have a 7 16 bolt. Put my spark plug back in, which is brand new. My guess is when this guy was trying to fix his own machine, thought maybe spark plug, which is not a bad idea. Do that. I need to reattach the primer line. So let's reach up under there gas cap back on and then three screws don't over tighten these either uh, it's screwing into plastic all right so replace the fuel filter the air filter was clean he had replaced that too replace the coil and we replaced the, the primer line or the primer bulb so I'm going to start this. I'm going to let it run for, I'm going to try to let it run for about 15 minutes. And uh, if it doesn't shut off, then we know we got it. All right, we're going to go for the first start here. Have the handle locked down so I can walk away from it. Choke it. for 21 minutes uh, I am happy with that um, again it only ran about 10 minutes 10 11 minutes before it got hot and then obviously stopped cooking so uh, I call that uh, completed uh, I'm gonna call the customer let them know it's done and uh, again thanks guys for watching let me know what you think in the comments and uh, I'll catch you next time